Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who's joining us, we do a little bit of everything on this channel, including pinball, DIY, machining, and automotive stuff. Now, today specifically, we are back with my 2023 Tundra, and I'm going to show you guys how to do an oil sample so you can test your engine to see how it's doing. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below because we got a giveaway coming up. When we hit a thousand subscribers, we got hats, we got shirts, and we're going to do an Amazon gift card for one of you lucky subscribers. Stay tuned for that. Let's get to the video. Now, we did a previous oil sample on this truck just a few thousand miles ago, and now we are at the 5,000 mile mark. Now, these oil analyses actually break down exactly what's in the oil, but we're not going to get into that. I actually did another video I'll post up here. You guys can check it out. Today, I'm just going to show you guys how do I do an oil sample to send off. Now, first off, you want to get yourself a kit. In this case, I'm using Blackstone. That's what I used last time. And basically, Blackstone will send you a package. You can ask for however many kits you want. Or if you do one sample, they will send you two more. Now, in this kit, you will get a little black box. You will get paperwork. And you'll get a bag. And basically, you're going to go through and fill out this paper on the front and back giving all the info of your truck, how many miles are on the oil currently, how many miles are on the truck currently, or whatever vehicle you're doing, it doesn't have to be a truck. You will get a little white container like this, a oil absorption mat, and you'll get a plastic baggie that all fit inside this little black box here, which also fit inside the bag that you're gonna ship off. Now there are two primary ways of getting your oil sample. You can either drain your oil and about halfway through, grab a sample, or, you can hit up your local Harbor Freight and pick up one of these. This is nothing more than a cheap vacuum pump. Now, you will need to go buy you some more tube here. And in this case, this is nothing more than a quarter inch ice maker line. And you can pick it up at Home Depot, Lowe's. You can buy a whole roll for like five or six bucks, I think 25 foot, way more than you need. But your typical kit from the Harbor Freight will include this short tube with a connector here that fits this quarter inch tube. They will give you a quarter inch tube, but it isn't entirely too short for most vehicles. Now what you want to do is actually take your dipstick out, lay it alongside of this, and you want to kind of cut this to the length of your dipstick tube. Now you don't want to suck from the bottom of the pan. You want to try to get it from the middle the best you can. Now you don't want to pull a cold sample. You want to make sure you crank the vehicle up, let it run for a few minutes. You want to get that oil circulating through there. All those heavy particles will fall down the bottom and sit overnight. So you want to get some circulation through the motor, get some heat in the oil a little bit, let it circulate. Make sure all those particles that are in the oil, if you have any, get circulating and flowing through it. So after you let your vehicle run for a few minutes, you're going to take your cheap Harbor Freight pump. Now I'm going to tell you this pump, it's cheap. Okay. It, it doesn't hold a vacuum very well. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to put it in, suck it up through there, pull it out, turn the hose up because it will leak a little bit. But I mean, you're talking like a $10 pump from Harbor Freight. We're only trying to get an oil sample out of this thing. All right. So now I'm going to get over here and I'm going to go ahead and get my little container ready. I'm going to go ahead and pull my dipstick out. Just set it to the side. Don't let it get dirty. Let it hang off the front is what I do. Pull your little cap piece off. And then whoop, whoop, whoop. you're going to feed this through your pickup or your, um, your tube there. And if you fill bottom, what you will do is pull it back up a little bit and then just pull you a sample and you just basically pull the handle and you see right there all the fluid starting to come through. So we're gonna pull, pull this a good little bit out. We can always put it right back in, not a big issue. All right, we're only doing one sample, so that should be enough. Now be careful pulling this tube out because too, it's kind of a little warm, especially if you've had it running, but you're gonna have that little bit of a leakage if you're not careful. Right there, put it in your tube here and just squeeze it out. Now you don't have to fill this thing completely up, but right about there should be enough. Put a little bit more right there. And I'm just gonna fill this back into my engine. Now don't forget 
to top your engine back off because, well, let's be honest. You just pulled some oil out. You need to put some oil back in it. Now, all I'm doing here is I've just stuck it in there a little bit of the tube, and I'm just going to work it get some air. Just work as much as that I can back in there. I said, this is a Harbor Freight pump, so don't expect a whole lot, but you can kind of work it back and forth. Like so, pull your tube back out and cap it off. Now, once you've gotten your sample, go ahead and put your dipstick back in and recheck your oil level. Make sure to add if you need to, um, unless you overfill it, you'll probably have to add a little bit. It's not a huge sample you're taking out, but you don't want to keep taking these things out and not adding to it. But all right, so here's your sample, put your top on it. Well, what you're going to do next is you're going to take the mat that it came with. You're going to wrap this baby up in it. So if it does leak, this oil absorption mat will make sure it helps contain it along with your little Ziploc bag. Place it in here. Take this, put it in your little black box. Don't drop it. I'm going to turn this cap on it, seal it up. Then you're gonna take your sample, your paper you filled out, and you're gonna put it in the prepaid envelope. So Blackstone charges $35 a sample. And if you wanna add the TB into it, that's another $10. And for this setup here that we're gonna send off, we're actually gonna do the TB in because I have just hit roughly 5,000 miles on this oil change. And we wanna see how much life is left in this oil because we know Toyota is very, Toyota's bad about saying going 10,000 miles. Let's see how much of it is actually still good. So to do that, we're gonna do the TBN test plus another oil analysis. That way we can find out exactly uh, what has happened over these last few thousand miles. And then we're gonna do another one again right before the 10,000 miles. So stay tuned. We're gonna hit that subscribe button down below. We've got some giveaways coming up when we hit the thousand mark, don't forget that. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna get these oil samples set off and see what happens. We'll catch you next time.